Hey guys, how are you today? So I thought I would come on camera and show you really quick how I made the covers for my small travel journal and my glue, my little portable glue book. They're done the same way. Um, and by the time that you see this video, I will have had a couple of videos on YouTube showing this book and the other one uh, already um, where I do this page and I will have already have been on Periscope doing this one so this and obviously this is the glue book so I was going to show you how I made the book itself really quick so I got these cases from American Science and Surplus the link will be in the description below and uh, if they still have them, they are a fun little case, very inexpensive. So you'll need one of these cases or something like it. Um, you'll need some of these binder rings. These are by Tim Holtz. These are um, ring binder, large. They come in a two pack and they come with brads. Now I haven't been using the brads. Um, I like the binder rings, the brads are honestly ridiculous so um, you don't need the brads but um, you can you save them and use them for something else but you'll need you'll need at least one of these you'll need one of these per book you'll need some thick black thread I'm using embroidery floss some needles some kind of epoxy and some white glue I should really have my reading glasses on for this. <laughs> Let's get those out, shall we? All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off a length of the embroidery floss. And thread it through the eye of the needle. All six strands don't separate any of the strands out. You could of course use um, different kind of string or twine, baker's twine. Use what you have. I wanted it to be black and match the cover and I happen to have lots of embroidery floss. So that's what we'll use. And even though this is an embroidery needle, getting all six strands through the eye of the needle is probably the hardest part of this whole project to be perfectly honest with you. There we go. Got it! Yay! Okay, so we've got that. Set it aside. We're going to take the back of our binder rings and we're going to put some epoxy on it so that we have a little bit of glue holding it down as well as the stitching. I'm almost out of my E6000, so I did get a, another thing of epoxy. It's I got goop glue because they actually didn't have clear E6000, which I thought was odd. I had it in colors. I didn't even know E6000 came in colors. And this is why I got another reason why I got a new one because I've had this one tube for a long time. I don't use it that much because it stinks too much. It makes me want to start coughing. Um, And not only is it dried up, it's almost, um, I mean, not as, only is it almost empty, it's almost dried up. So we're going to put some of this on here. Mostly on the edges because um, the center has got, got to keep moving. Okay. So we'll center this on this flat part here in the middle of our bag. Okay. Then we are going to stick our needle up through the vinyl, through the hole in the end of the binder ring. Don't pull it all the way. Leave a two or three inch piece. And then do that. Go back around and come back up again. There we go. Oh, 
Whoops. Don't do that, what I just did. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay. So do that two or three times. Bring your cut end around to the end on the needle still and tie it in a knot. Pull it tight, tight in a knot. Oops. One more time. I got the idea to do this from Shannon Green. This is not my original idea. I will try to find the link to the video that she inspired for this and put it in the description below. All right, now we'll do the other side. Now to do the other side, it's a little trickier because you've got the zipper pull. So you really have to pull the zipper out a little bit. Let's see. Poke the needle through first. Actually, we're gonna go the other way. No, we're not either, I take that back. I'm gonna go this way. So you really wanna start on the inside. Ow. Try not to poke yourself. Like I just did. All right. Now, when you go back up again, go underneath the zipper pull. So pull the zipper pull out and go in between the zipper teeth and go up. If you don't do that, you're going to be sewing down the zipper pull and you'll never be able to close this journal, which is kind of not the point. <laughs> you, want, you want to be able to close it, so there we go. Again. Okay, so just like the other side, once you get that part done, pull all your threads tight and then tie it in a knot. So I'll tie it once, twice to make the knot, and third time for security. Oops. Okay, now, not done yet. I'm gonna take some, this is um, Elmer's Extreme School Glue. You can use any white glue, tacky glue. Something that dries hard and that doesn't dry and um, dry sticky. Put some of it over the threads knot on each end. It dries clear, so we're not worried about it looking white right now. And then we're going to flip it over and do it on the back side. Yep. And then we're going to let the whole thing dry. And we're going to flip it this way and we're going to put a weight. This this is a bar, uh, you know, a barbell that has the weights that screw on and off a pole. I got these from my little sister years ago. She was getting rid of them, and I said, I don't want the barbell part, but can I have those weights? Those would be good craft weights. As you can tell by how painy and marked up they are, I've used them ever since. So then I just put one of these right here to weight it down so that the binder rings um, stick, the epoxy on the binder ring sticks to the cover and let it dry. And once it's dry, 
You can punch some cards or some watercolor paper to put on the rings. You can use the pockets that are inside the front and back cover to put um, supplies in. There's two pockets in the one cover and then there is a zipper pouch and a pocket with a flap on it and a snap in the back. And this little case holds a lot of stuff. I have one for the glue book and I have one for travel art journaling. I'll link those videos in the description below. Think about taking this or something like it and turning it into your own little travel art case. And don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later.